H2, uh, in my opinion, is a relatively quick, easy to use device. It will be very good for divers, rescue divers, like special operations group. You can rescue some people who need help. Be great use during search and rescue operations. Some people come to swimming, don't know how to swim. This is an assistant, as an assistant, uh, go, how to swim on the water or on the power. power. Yeah, because very simple to operate, uh, just open the switch. But the real passion of the company is its technology and the applications that we're able to use when we develop this technology. In this case, we're using uh, the uh, Coast Guard's. Uh, Special Operations Group or Special Operations uh, Force to kind of see how would they how they would feel if we put this into uh, uh, sort of a government operation. Let's say if we have some sort of a hurricane or a bad flood, and we need to get into communities that are tough to get rescuers into. Uh, today we're here with the Philippine Coast Guard, uh, letting them kind of feel how the maneuvering and and the handling is, and kind of how they feel about using this. Or, uh, what I would what I would call search and rescue or uh, survey options uh, in terms of going out and looking. A beginner can use this, so I guess everyone can use this. You can just use it easily instead of making use of oxygen and setting it up. You can go free dive by just using this. Then you can rescue some people who need help. Uh, I just uh, use a boat. Uh, 10 meters to 20 meters is a safety place. Yes, it's a safety place. 10 meters to 20 meters. Two personal or three personal is no problem. You, because, yeah, because it has a very strong force.